These striking young birds are buzzards. I've been following a pair of buzzards near my home throughout the seasons. Follow me on my journey as I find a nest with three young chicks. Watch them grow and develop. Successfully fledge. And thrive in a life beyond the nest. The word buzzard describes different species in different parts of the world. In North America it's used colloquially to mean turkey vulture, but in the rest of the world it refers to the genus Buteo. The common buzzard is found in Europe, Asia and Africa. Whilst its close relative, the red-tailed hawk, is found in North America. Buzzards are the most common and widespread bird of prey here in the UK. And one of my favourites. It's been a dream of mine to put remote cameras onto a buzzard's nest and gain an insight into their secretive lives. I often see buzzards soaring over the hills here on the Yorkshire Wolds. Identified by their broad wings, an iconic call known as mewing, which echoes around my Yorkshire home. In spring, I see a pair of buzzards taking an interest in a nearby wood, a sign they could be wanting to nest there. And now in May, it's likely they'll have young chicks there too. I grab my gear and head out to see what I can find. So I've just seen both adults further down the valley that way, so I'm going to head in and see if I can get a closer look and find this nest. This is an unusual spot for a buzzard's nest. They usually choose much larger trees. But I've seen them flying in and out of the canopy up ahead, so I'm gonna go in and take a look. That's absolutely brilliant. I've found the nest and it's not too high. I think these ladders are gonna reach it. Absolutely amazing, there's three chicks up there and they're at the perfect age to get a camera on them. They're still covered in fluffy down with no feathers peeking through. And judging by the size, they're only about three weeks old. So while the adults are out hunting, I'm gonna get some cameras up there really quick. So I've got a great angle on the nest here. I can hear the adults calling overhead. So I'm going to head off and leave them to it. Buzzard nests can be massive structures, with new twigs and branches added each year. But this nest is so small, it must have been built recently and in a hurry. It's not long before the female returns to her chicks and settles in to brood them overnight. At first light, she sets off to hunt. She's soon back with food for the chicks. Buzzards feed on a wide range of prey, from worms to rabbits. But this time, the chicks are treated to a rat. With all this growing to do, they're gonna need a lot of food. They'll be 10 times their hatching weight when they reach adulthood. With exposed nests like these, buzzard chicks experience some extreme weather. 
but the tiny chicks seem to take it all in their stride, completely unbothered by the strong winds. And the female even seems comfortable in these conditions, expertly riding the gusts as she returns to her brood. Whilst the female takes on most of the parenting duties, the male is never far away. He arrives at the nest to check on the family. Males can be up to 15% smaller than the females, but provide most of the food, especially in his early stages. Content that everyone's okay, he's soon off again to hunt, leaving the female to watch over the chicks. And when the weather turns, she's there to brood them, protecting them from the wet and cold. Thanks to the parents' hard work, the chicks are already growing fast. They're looking strong and healthy, and along their wings, their feathers are developing. But all this growing is tiring work. It's been a few days since I've been back to see the buzzards, so I'm going to head up and see how they're getting on. So it's only been six days since I was last here and it's clear to see how much they're growing. The cameras are set again, so I'm going to head off and leave them to it. Now at just over four weeks old, the chicks are developing well. And in less than a month's time, they'll be ready to take to the skies. Joining their parents, soaring over the Yorkshire wolds. The chicks are now just over a month old and they're looking great. Under the fluffy down, the dark feathers are visible and they're even beginning to test their wings. Now they're older, they spend more time alone, stretching their legs as they wander around the nest. But the adults are still close by, bringing in food. Buzzards have a varied diet, and the chicks eat mammals, birds, and even lizards. As they develop, they're becoming more independent. The female hands over a shrew. They can handle small prey items on their own now. But they're still a bit clumsy. This one drops and loses its meal. Thankfully, the parents are expert hunters. And the male is soon back with a rat. But the chicks still need a helping hand with a large meal like this. Feeding the chicks is the female's role, so she returns to assist. As the male heads off to hunt, the female gets to work, tearing the meal into bite-sized chunks. The adults are doing an incredible job, and all three chicks are thriving. It's a week before I'm back to the nest, and it's obvious just how much these young buzzards have grown. Now at five weeks old, they've molted most of their down, and their feathers are developing well. The eldest chick even ventures out onto the outside branches. And when the female returns to the nest, it's great to get a sense of scale. The chicks are nearly as big as she is. As the days pass, the eldest chick is spending more time on the edges of the nest and regularly practices flapping its wings. 
buzzard chicks hatch at three day intervals, so there's nearly a week between the eldest and youngest. But as all three chicks continue to grow, space in the nest is getting tight. And it's getting increasingly messy too. To escape the chaos, the eldest chick now explores the branches beyond the nest, while its siblings play it safe. And the younger chicks watch closely as it shows off its flapping technique. Now at 50 days old, it will soon be ready to put all this practice into action. When I return in the morning, there's only two chicks in the nest. The eldest must have fledged earlier, so I head off to see if I can track it down. The first young buzzard left the nest last night. It's just down here in one of the hawthorn trees. It's absolutely great to see this young buzzard out and about. My feeding station is just about 50 metres away, so I'm going to put some food out and hopefully this young bird will come in. Buzzards have a varied diet, from worms to rabbits. But they'll also eat carrion, and that's what I'm leaving here. The cameras relay footage back to my gallery, so I can keep a close eye. But for now, it's just the adults that feed here. They're still providing for the hungry mouths back at the nest. The chicks are growing in confidence and starting to explore the outer branches. The second chick flaps its wings to strengthen its developing muscles. And the third seems to mimic it, stretching its wings too. Buzzard chicks are so inquisitive. One seems very interested in my camera. But after all this excitement, the chicks are ready to rest. And these two seem to have a really strong bond. With growing chicks to care for, the adults make regular visits to grab a snack for themselves at my feeding station. Soon, the first fledgling finds its way there too. Prompted by its begging calls, the female starts to feed it. The youngster may have fledged, but it'll be six to eight weeks before it's independent. Until then, the parents will care for it and show it the ropes. Back at the nest, the chicks are getting restless. Even the smallest chick has started flapping practice now, hopping with excitement. And then, six days after its sibling, the second chick fledges too. The final chick is alone. And despite its best efforts, it's still not ready to fly just yet.
Now the second chick is out in the wild. I set off to see if I can spot it. So the second chick's fledged and it's in the top of a tree just here. It's amazing to see it out and about after so long in the nest. So I've got some great shots of this second chick. I'm going to head over to the nest now to see if the third chick's still in there. So there's just this one buzzard left in the nest now. The other two have fledged. And it's going to be fascinating to see when this little guy fledges. I think another couple of days, maybe three days, and he'll be flying around as well. Later on, he's flapping again, getting some impressive airtime. Meanwhile, the parents have their work cut out, feeding their young at the feeding station and at the nest. it's not only the adults still come into the nest. Later on, one of the fledglings crash lands as it pops in for a visit. And it's not just a social visit, it's looking for food. But when there's none here, it sets off again to explore. The first fledgling has become a regular visitor at my feeding station. And the second soon finds the spot too. sure they have enough to eat. I've also started leaving food on a branch further down the valley. The fledglings are getting more confident. When mum arrives, this one charges down to defend its meal. This behaviour is known as mantling. And later, when the male is feeding, a fledgling even flies in to see him off. A couple of days later, I head over to check on the final chick. But when I get there, I find the nest empty. The third and final buzzard has fledged. And I soon spot it out and about too. It's just amazing to see them all out of the nest. They're looking so mature. But when the dad flies past, they're begging for food like chicks again. Buzzards typically mate for life, staying together all year round, even after the chicks are fledged. The pair have such a strong bond. Unlike the chicks who were once so close. But are now less sociable. over food.
spending more time alone. Over the following months, it's a pleasure following the buzzards through the changing seasons. The fledgling's plumage starts to change. The darker colours giving way to lighter hues, with light tips on the feathers. This shows the growth from fledglings to juveniles. And by September, I notice a change in behaviour too. While the female feeds, the youngster watches on. By now, they should be able to hunt for themselves. So the parents are becoming less tolerant. Ignoring their begging calls. And in November, it's finally time. The female sees off a youngster. This should encourage them to establish their own territories elsewhere. I've watched buzzards all my life, but this is the first time I've been able to film their secret world inside the nest. It's been incredible watching the youngsters grow. From helpless chicks, to tough young buzzards, ready to take to the skies. And it was fascinating to watch what happens beyond the nest. As the fledglings grew in confidence and finally set off to have lives of their own. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.